Hi guys, a different face today. Um, I'm just about to go out for a run and I just wanted to share with you my pre-run routine just to make sure my legs are moving in, um, and, uh, in, in a good way and are ready for, for the run to follow. I'm going out for 45 minutes, but whether I go out for 20 minutes or two hours, not two hours at the moment, because we're only allowed roughly about an hour, an hour or so, um, but whether I go out for a short or a long run, my routine pre-run is pretty much the same every time. So I just want to share this with you now. What we're going to use to start with is um, just a, a, a roll and a ball, um, no, nothing more than that. If you don't have a, a, a roller to hand, then quite easily we can use different things. Uh, I found these uh, across the road in the trash bin, uh, they're clearly not mine. Um, excuse the pun on, on, on this one as a, uh, as a reference to, to what's happening at the moment. Uh, apparently people enjoyed them really well. Uh, so we can use different mediums to, to, to roll on, so it doesn't have to necessarily be a roller, we can get the same effect. We just have to put less pressure obviously because the glass is, is pretty rigid and hard. So, but for today's purposes we're going to use um, equipment fit for purpose, uh, a roller on ball. So to start with, what we just want to have a look at is the, um, how, how free I am in terms of my, my ability to hop. So my calves are a bit tight. I've been doing a bit more running than, than, than of late, purely because, you know, working from home, different routine, and my, my calves, Achilles, just a little bit tight. I just want to get everything moving, my suspension system, my feet, my calves, my quads, just get them moving a little bit better, ready to accept the demands of the, of the running itself. Okay, so let's get to the floor. So to start with then, literally, we're going to go, um, I'm going to do left foot first because that was the one that was a little bit more uncomfortable than, than the other. Right leg over left, starting down by the heel and literally rolling up and down the centre lower half of the calf. And I'm just going to do it for five or six times. So one more to make it six, and then I'm going to roll over to the inside of the calf. Now, if that's particularly uncomfortable, which it may be for a lot of you, then what I can do is just rest my foot next to my leg on the roller and just create a lighter stimulus to the leg that I'm rolling. We must make sure that the, the foot is nice and free and not jammed up with toes up. Um, and then after six, we're going to roll up and create a movement to the outside of the calf. Yeah, so just to reiterate, we must keep everything relaxed as, as we're doing things into that position. So two more like that, and then we've done the back of the calf itself. Moving on from that then, we're gonna go sideways on and do the outside of the lower leg. This hits the muscles called the perineal muscles. And we're just gonna come into this position here. We're gonna start by the ankle, and we're going to roll up an inch, so quite a small movement, back a half inch, up an inch. I don't really feel much, but it is actually doing an awful lot. We're going to do this up and down four times. So here we are, this is for the fourth, nice and easy. Then I'm going to give the leg a really good shake and pause that and shake for a second time. And then from there, we're just going to pin the leg onto the roller, not too hard, and do two circles with the foot one way and then two circles with the foot the other. Okay, we've got a new start point now, so we're going to move up an inch, back a half, and we'll repeat that till we get to the top of, top of the outer leg. So this is for three, and four. We shake the leg again, and shake the leg again. That's it. Might start to get a little bit more uncomfortable now, so two circles one way, nice and deliberate, really good circles, making sure that the circle's a circle and not a little a straight line. And we're going to repeat that process again. So up one inch, back a half, up one inch, back a half, two more like that. And I'm now nearer the top. So I'm about two thirds of the way up that outer leg. We're creating a shake. Foot nice and relaxed, and we'll shake again. Two circles with the foot one way, 
and we repeat that the other. Okay, so this is the last one. I'm going to just for a little bit more purchase, place my hand on my knee, keep my, my leg both, uh, parallel to the floor and just create up an inch, back a half. Now we must make sure that we don't go too high. There's a knobbly bit of the top of the fibula on the outside of the leg and we want to stay roughly about inch, half inch below that knobbly bit and not roll on it. There's quite an important nerve there that, uh, that feeds round that head of the fibula and supplies the, um, uh, the lifting muscles of the foot, okay? So we've got one more like that. This time I'm going to use my hamstrings to shake the leg and shake again for the second time. Last time, two circles one way and two circles the other. So let's just test that hop again and just see. And now, um, now the whole experience of my um, uh, hop is completely different. My calf feels much more energized. It feels much more ready to accept that, that instant pounding on the first few steps that we go running. So the last thing that I do is literally to the quads. So I'm going to do, um, going to do the left quad. So we're in, so my right knee out to the side. I'm starting down by the kneecap. I'm rolling up two inches this time, and back one inch, thighs along the bone and the tibia. Up two inches, back one inch. Up two inches, back one inch. Make it four again, so the process is the same. We're even going to shape the same like we did on the last protocol for the, for the outside of the, of, of the calf, the perineals and shake again, but this time instead of circling the foot, we're going to bend the knee. So this could be a little bit uncomfortable, not too bad today for me. That's good. So if you just watch that from the side and keep that going, we're now four inches up the leg. So up one inch, back a half, up one inch, back a half, up one inch, back a half, just to make it four, shake the leg, shake again, knee bend, a little bit more uncomfortable there, knee bend again, and repeat that process all the way up to the, to the top of the quad. So if you just watch this video repeatedly for two or three times, you should get the protocol and it should give you a nice little setup pre-run. So we're going to shake again, shake again, knee bend, there, and knee bend. So for the last one, we're going to roll ever so slightly, not too much, just to the outside of the, the upper thigh, and we're going to continue that motion till we get to the top of the, the pelvis. Once we get up there, this time instead of shaking the leg, we're just going to shake the, uh, the pelvis across the ball, uh, across the roller, sorry. There, and knee bend, and knee bend, okay. If you're feeling particular tight, particularly tight, sorry, then what we can do is get the quad, uh, the ball, sorry, into the, the, the front of the quad itself. So, because I've been quite tight of late in, uh, in my knee, I just want to clear the capsule at the front of the knee. So literally all I'm going to do is put the ball in the center of the quad, just above the kneecap. And literally I'm just going to hang a really small movement in, in that place. Um, and just let my leg hang over the, over the ball itself. It's not particularly comfortable, but if we can just relax the quad onto the ball, then ultimately we're allowing the ball to drop into and dissipate any tension that we have where the, the, the quad muscle becomes the tendon, okay? And we call that the muscular tendinous junction. So we allow that to just dissipate any tension and we're gonna hold that for maybe, depends how tight it is, maybe up to maybe 30, 60 seconds or so. Okay, so. A nice little routine there. I'll then obviously repeat the same to, to the other side, um, which I will do in a minute when I've turned the, the camera off. And that, so that gives you a good highlight and, and understanding of routine prior to going out for a run. My leg now, my left leg, 
feels nice and springy and, and able to accept the, the run that I'm going to go on to. So if you are running and you're running a little bit more or just normal or looking to start running, then perhaps this is the first of the routines that I'm going to go through that you can start to implement. Happy training, hope all is good, hope everyone is safe and we'll catch you again in the not too distant future.